Welcome everyone to the DLG. My name is Skip. Today we're doing a little bit of a different kind of a video and we're going to do it from indoors and that's because we've got a heck of a monsoon coming in right here. So today uh, I'm going to be doing this video from the floor. Today's video is about what I carry every day in my backpack. So stay with us and I'll be right back. So there it is everyone. This is my everyday carry. This is my backpack that I carry. Uh, it's just a very khaki uh, canvas bag. Um, very simple bag. Um, the bundle on the very bottom, that's my poncho. And I use that when it rains or when it gets a little bit chilly out. Sometimes I'll put my, I'll take my Levi jacket and wrap it around there instead of that. But most of the time that's what I carry. It's, it's very simple to carry. I can also use it as a blanket on the ground, something like that. And then I always carry a bandana. And the bandanas can be good for a lot of different things. I use them, put them around my neck, of course. Uh, in the summertime, I'll wet it down. I'll dip it in the stream, uh, creek, put it around my neck, keeps me nice and cool. Uh, also in the summertime, I mean in the wintertime, it's good to keep you warm. So this right here is part of my everyday carry. Uh, this is the uh, gun that I carry with me every single day. It's an SR-22 pistol. The thing I love about this pistol is just about any ammunition that I put in it, it'll shoot. Um, I also take the clip out, I rotate the ammunition. Uh, carrying a gun like this, especially a 22, uh, the ammunition will actually get jostled around pretty good and it'll cause the gunpowder to, uh, to, to um, uncompact, decompact, and uh, that causes misfires. Uh, so other than that, uh, that's about the only thing I ever have to do with it other than clean it. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's in the bag. We'll start with the front. There's this little zipper on the side here. And uh, this is a little uh, pair of glasses uh, that I use in emergency situations. It came with this nice little case. Um, I think I paid a dollar for these at the dollar store and I've had them for quite a few years now. Uh, a little tube of toothpaste, an extra magazine, 10 round magazine for my gun. These are earplugs. Uh, it's always good when you're shooting to wear earplugs. I always carry an extra set in here. Also, if there's a lot of nonsense going on around you and you're in some kind of an emergency situation, uh, you want to have these earplugs so that you can uh, get some rest. little screwdriver and a comb. Now in the front, I always carry these leather straps with me. You never know uh, when you're going to need to tie something up. It's always good to have some of these on there. So I always carry sunscreen. Uh, really good to have when you're on a hike. Altoids. Headphones. And I'll get into this a little bit later, but it's really important to have uh, some kind of entertainment, some kind of distraction. And uh, when you're out in a situation where you're stuck for an hour or two or maybe even an entire day, Having uh, something uh, refreshing like your, uh, your uh, music uh, kind of helps you get through those times. Business cards. These are my official DLG business cards. Allergy relief. Little emergency medical kit. I've got some uh, Advil. Some Pepto-Bismol tablets. It's really important when you're out and uh, if you have that little stomach problem that might happen, uh, it's always good to have these. A lot of people overlook things like this because if you're out somewhere and uh, you get a little bit of gut grief, 
uh, especially in an emergency or a survival situation, uh, even if it's just for a few hours, you can be miserable if you don't have something like this. More allergy relief. Space blanket. Uh, you can use this for uh, protection from the wind, from the rain, from the cold. If you're in your vehicle and it gets extremely cold, it's snowing, one of these could actually save your life. My gloves. Carry two pairs of gloves. First pair is this fingerless glove right here. And that's good if you have to pull on a rope, you have to push on anything, also help keep your hands warm. Use these all the time. And then in the winter time, I have these great gloves. These are uh, military tactical gloves. And uh, they're fingerless. Very, very warm. They're double lined. And it has this great feature on the front. So you can use it fingerless. Or you can just pull this over the front. And turn it into a very warm mitten. Uh, when I had my Jeep... And the top was off my Jeep, or the sides were off my Jeep, and it was raining, monsooning, it was really cold out. I really appreciated having these gloves. Also, if you're out somewhere hiking, it's always important to keep your hands warm. So the front of the bag, or the very back of the bag, water. It's always really, really important to have water. This is just an old Gatorade bottle. I fill this up and I put it in the freezer and I'll carry it frozen. Um, also, uh, when I'm hiking or just hanging out somewhere, it's really nice to have water with you. Sometimes I'll carry two of these. Another little first aid kit. I think I got this at the dollar store for like three dollars. Uh, snacks, cheese and crackers. Uh, they're dated uh, October 2016. So I still got a couple of months left on these. These are my Smarties. If you don't know what Smarties are, this is what they are. They're these little candies. And uh, these are really good um, in a survival situation because it would give you a little bit of a sugar rush really fast. And uh, it's good to have that familiarity of something from home uh, to keep you calm. Also give you a little bit of energy. Thing of cookies, granola bar. And this is... Uh, I did a review on this. This is my little uh, wireless Bluetooth. It's a uh, pretty amazing little thing. Um, if you're in a situation where you need to be able to hear what's going on around you, but you still want to listen to some music to help you calm down, to give you that little sense that everything's going to be okay, playing your music sometimes will, uh, will accomplish that for you and keep everybody calm. But you still want to hear what's going on around you. You want to hear if the helicopters are coming, if there's an evacuation. Um, so uh, having this available for, uh, for use, and it's extremely light. Um, it's rechargeable, uh, and this is really, really good. I've used this out on uh, the trails. Uh, if I'm hiking or I sit down by the creek somewhere and I just decide I want to listen to some nice, relaxing music or even something not so relaxing, I'll turn this on low so I'm not disturbing anybody. And, uh, but I can still hear it, but I can still hear the birds and the water running past. So I really enjoy this thing. A couple more bad things of cookies. So that's really about it. Like I said before, this bag is not set up for the zombie apocalypse. This is for everyday use. Uh, not too long ago, I was up on, the, on I-17. And uh, there was a big fire. The, uh, a motorhome burst into flames. And uh, the little tow vehicle behind it also had gone up. And things were exploding and popping and banging. And uh, they had the, the whole freeway closed up for, for quite a while. Um, 
And uh, we had a horrible accident where a uh, truck jackknifed uh, on the I-17. And they actually sent in the Red Cross with water and supplies for the people who were stuck for several hours. And when you just have one road that goes north to south through a state, it's always really important to have extra supplies with you, and that's why I carry this. So thank you for watching. Uh, be sure and like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.